Hey guys, it's Thrifty Thursday and I have got a Burlington Cult Factory haul with a little bit of everything. So I got a couple of clothing or wardrobe items. First up are these shoes. I got these flats from Rampage. I wear eight and a half. So here's what they look like. They're just kind of work flats to replace them that I have worn out this year. Um, these retailed, well they were clearance down to $9.99. So I got a pair of those in black. And then I also got some other flats for work. These are kind of a tweed pattern. It's a woolen fabric in a deep brown with looks like camel running through it. See that camel there and then it's got some burgundy and navy so that'll work really well with the colors that I like to wear in fall. But those are cute and they clearance down to $7.99. Those are by Blowfish. They also had these kind of, they almost look like they could be men's shoes. Um, they're interesting because I've got this cutout pattern. They've got a zipper here and then this patent effect toe. I don't know why I like these, but I do. So they're by Life Stride and they've got a grippy sole. So those will be nice for kind of wet weather, which it's storming right now. I apologize if you can hear that. So those were $9.98. And then lastly, I got some completely weather inappropriate shoes that were just cute. I like a pointy heel, and these are pretty high. They also have an open toe, so I'm sure I won't be able to wear that for much longer. But um, I really liked them. They had this cute gold zipper, which I'm starting to like gold again. So, and they look really cute on. So I thought I needed those. They retail for it looks like $39.99, but they clearance down to $10.99. So this owl is pretty large. Here's an e.l.f. Total Face Brush for comparison. This guy's probably about a foot tall. There's a hole in the back that I believe it's meant to put a candle inside so it'll have a nice um, effect from these cutouts that'll display on your walls. So it's cute. I don't know if I'll ever use it that way though. Our kitchen is this shade of green, so I thought it would just be nice to have. And it had clearance down to $10.99. They also had some candles, so this one doesn't have a maker or brand name anywhere that I can see. It's called Stormy Skies Number no. 5. It's in this pretty kind of Moroccan or Indian themed tin. And it clearance down to $1.99. So we got all of the ones that they had at the store. It's got one wick, and right away, as soon as you open it up, you get a hit of kind of a powdery bergamot scent. I really like it. I would say it's probably about double or so the size of the Dollar Tree candles. So um, maybe six to eight ounces. It has a little bit of tunneling, which I think might be due to the fact that it's shaped this way, but the tin would be great to reuse. I don't know if it's food safe, but for storage or kind of trinkets, it would be very nice. So yeah, we really like these. These are also clearance out on the Burlington website, so I'd say check there if you don't have them in store and see if you can find some of these. They have great deals and they even have larger sizes. I also had this Napa Valley Merlot candle. I've never heard of this brand before, but it clearance down to $1.99 and it doesn't have a size. It's got dimensions instead of a weighted size. But it smells pretty nice on cold sniff, so I'm hopeful that it'll give off a nice, highly fragranced floral once it's burned. And as you probably imagine, it smells like red wine. They also had this Chesapeake Bay candle in the scent Cottage Rose. It's a lidded candle. I just took the lid off to show you that it's got one wick. That's what it looks like with the lid on. So this had clearance down to $3.99. Doesn't have the original retail price, but it does say that this is 20 ounces. So I'd say for $4, that's a pretty good steal. And again, that's by Chesapeake Bay Candle. The scent is very pure rose. I don't get really anything else and it's a very nice natural scent. It doesn't smell too chemically. Also from Chesapeake Bay Candles La Patisserie collection is this Busta de Leche scented candle. It actually does have the original price on the bottom of this one which is $11.95 and it clearance down to $3.99. This is a 19 ounce jar. I really like when they have these jar candles with the lids because I like to put spice mixes or you know other kind of things in them after the candle's gone. This one's just got one wick. It does have a nice caramelized sugar scent. Next up is another jar candle from Goose Creek Home Fragrance. I haven't heard of this brand before, but I got a whiff of the scent, which is Peach Splash. 
It kind of smells like a peach bellini. You know, it's got peach with a little bit of like a sparkling wine scent. It's got two wicks. And as soon as you take off the lid, you can smell it. Looks like it's 22 ounces and it clearance down to $5.99. We also found a Yankee Candle item on clearance. It's the scent Christmas candy. Doesn't have a size, but it feels like it's probably 12 to 15 ounces. It had clearance down to $2.98, which is a good price, I think. This is our first Yankee Candle item, so I'm excited to see how it burns. As you can see, it's lidded. It's got two wicks. It smells great on cold sniff. And it smells a little bit like cinnamon, clove, nutmeg. Cinnamon and clove are the ones that you get the most of. So I'm excited to burn that one during the holidays if we can hold off that long. And then the last item that we got was also from Yankee Candle. It's a wax warmer. So it looks like this. I love the fact that it's got a neutral color and pattern. So we can use that because we've got a neutral kind of decor going on. It's electric and it's got this little on off switch. So not a lot of buttons to press. So this is the warming element and then you would sit this on top and put your wax inside. So we're excited to give that a try, especially because there's some wax at Dollar Tree. And this was clearance down to $5.99. This is another Yankee Candle item. So first up is this Betsy Johnson uh, perfume set. It's got a body lotion, shower gel, and an eau de toilette. So we've got a manufacturer's price of $45 that had been marked down to a $30 price tag for Burlington and then it clearance down until it got to $4.99. So all of the perfume sets were clearance down to $4.99 at our stores. I'm not sure what the event was. So I grabbed a couple of these Betsy Johnson ones. I also got this Anna Sui Flight of Fancy set. Again, it's got an EDT, body lotion, and shower gel. We also found a scent that I really love on my husband. It looks like it may have been discontinued, um, but it was $5.99 for this six ounce spray. It's Beverly Hills Polo Club and the scent is called Sexy. They only had this one left and he's got one um, eau de toilette left. So now he's got a body spray and hopefully we can find a couple more before they're gone forever. I also found a couple of accessories. So this kind of graduated coiled uh, spring necklace. As you can see, or you might be able to see inside, there's a necklace to kind of keep its shape. And then it's got two large studs in gold. This set was clearance down to $3.98 from an original price of $16. And it's by Sophia and Kate. I'm, I'm not sure if I've heard of that brand or not, but um, it seemed like a pretty good deal. They also had this gunmetal gray set. So it's got kind of this ornate spiked detail on the bottom. And then it's got these matching studs on top. And these are pretty hefty, weighty sets. So I was excited to find that, and it was marked down to $4.98. And that one is from the brand Lux. And they have this Justin and Taylor earring and necklace set in kind of a rose gold coppery shade. Yeah, it's probably more copper than rose gold. So it's got this pyramid theme on the bottom and then matching earrings. And that was marked down to $2.98. And lastly, they had some beauty items. So Abby uses this conditioner. It's called Queen Helene Cholesterol. It's for dry overprocessed hair. Obviously, she has no processing as she is nine, but it is really good for her hair. It's got mineral oil, which typically um, tends to dry her hair out, but for some reason, this is the magic concoction. So we usually leave this on her hair under like a plastic bag or something like that. I don't know how much they typically retail for, but this one was marked down to $7.99. It was the only one they had or we would have gotten more. So yeah, she, her hair loves this stuff. I also got a couple of nail polish items. So this is a set by Ellen Tracy. It's a brand I haven't tried before and I figured it would be a good time to give it a shot. This green on the end is kind of a duochrome of green and purple. 
So I'm excited to give that one a try. I think I'll probably try this duochrome the next time I do my nails. Okay, then we also got this nail polish set called the New Black. There is no black, but there is this nice fall shade here at the end. And then varying kind of sandy, beigey nudes. So this set is called Walrus, and it was 99 cents. And then in makeup, they had these Adrian Vitadini lip glosses. I've never tried these or even seen these before, so I figured I would give them a shot since they had a different selection of colors. So this is a pale pink, light coral, deeper coral, frosted pink, and a frosted lavender kind of violet shade. They're 0.2 ounces a piece, and they look like they'll probably just be a sheer kind of shimmery shade for the lips. So five different shades and $5.99, that's just over a dollar a piece, so I figured they were worth a try for that price. And lastly, they had some Global Beauty Care Wipes. These were selling for $4.99. At Dollar Tree, they typically retail $1 for 25 wipes, so this is way, way higher than they would be at Dollar Tree. But I do love these wipes, I do love coconut oil for skin and hair. So I will be sure to report back and let you guys know what I think of these. If you've tried these, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my Instagram glossary of tags.